We're glad to be here, and we hope and pray that you've had a good day today. It's been real nice right here in Sweetwater, Tennessee tonight, and regardless of where you at, where you may be listening, we welcome you to Alan Presley Promotions. We on Facebook tonight. We on the radio stations. We on about four different worldwide radio stations, the WOTG Radio Network, and we are glad to be here, and uh, we're looking forward to having a good time. And today has been Father's Day, and we're going to be playing a lot of songs for the fathers out there. We do this on Mother's Day. We do this on Christmas, and we uh, do songs on Thanksgiving night, we're recognizing all these other different things, and we're going to be recognizing the fathers tonight. And you're listening to Alan Presley Promotions. And, folks, this is a faith broadcast sponsored by you, the listener. In other words, without you, we couldn't possibly do here. You know, we got a lot of equipment in here. We got mics in here. We got computers in here. We operate right now on three different computers. And we are... Uh, trying to get around the world, uh, reaching the gospel, preaching the gospel, and sharing the gospel, and playing songs of the gospel. We only play songs, and we try to uh, of the gospel. We only play those people that profess to be Christians and be Christian artists and Christian singers. That's all we play, and we believe in honoring God and serving God. But this is a faith broadcast. In other words. What I'm telling you, it takes a lot of equipment. We operate on three computers. We have a software that's placed in one of my, in my computer that we play the music with. And that, that, that don't come cheap. And we operate on two different webcams, two cameras. And we operate on a lot of different things right here to get this out. We own four radio stations. We own a TV station. And we own YouTube, and we own some other things, and it takes the equipment to, to get there. And, folks, we appreciate all you folks tuning in and listening tonight, and we're trying to reach the world with the story of Jesus. And if you like being a part of a program like this, and we took on an extra ministry of trying to help children, and we need to help those children. A lot of them got problems. A lot of them don't have a father and mother. And you might say, well, what's the use? There's a lot of use if we got the love of God in our heart. We got the love of God in our heart. We will help these people or try to help them. We won't be like the Pharisee. Walk on by and claim, you know, the Pharisee claimed there was a religious sect, that there was a religious group. A lot of religious groups out there. Some have even turned their place and having church like a bar room, dancing and going on like that. And nothing shared about the holy truths of God's word. That's not a church. That's a bar or a honky-tonk place. But anyway, we, we need to love our kids. We need to love the people. We need to serve God and be the way God wants to do. Jesus is love. God is love. And we need to love him, love him and love the people. We're trying to do something to help those children. We got a guy coming here that's going to be representing the children's home. Be here this Wednesday night. He's going to be talking about the need and what they need and what, what we are doing. And Alan Presley Promotions is trying to do that. But without you, we cannot do that. Some of you done already made some donations. And we asking us to share the program out there on Facebook that others might hear and that we might get others involved. You know, many people have heard this program. If they even shared a dollar a piece, look what we can do to help those children. 50 cents a piece. There have been thousands of people heard this program. And we need to help do something to save these children's life and save them. And, and if you like being a part of a program like this, send your donations to Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. 
Here's our address again, Alan Presley, 611 Ohio 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Lady Preston, you got anything to say? Not right now. She said not right now. But, folks, we appreciate you. Facebook, share our program. Share it around and tell people to listen to a program. We got some people that's doing that. Some of them make some ads and put it on Facebook trying to get people to come on and listen. A lot of things I don't understand out there. I got over 3,100 friends on my Facebook page, and it's climbing every day. And everyone that I accept, they say they love Southern Gospel music and love these things. I got another page called Alan Presley Promotion Page, one we own right now. I got way over 2,000 friends, over 2,400 friends on that to say they love Southern Gospel music. But there's some things I don't understand. Maybe some of you do understand it, but I'm not smart enough to understand it. Where is them 3,000-something friends that say they love Southern Gospel music? Where is the 2,400 that's on this page right now we own? Where are they at that say they love Southern Gospel music? I don't understand it. Do you? Where are they at? Where's all these po- people that wanted to be my friend, and we got them on these pages? You put them all together, I got told over 5,000 friends on two pages. Where, where are they at when we don't have but a, uh, 120 views from Facebook? Now, I know sometimes you look at this page, and their shots goes up, and it says it's 700-something reacted, 600-something the engagements, somebody's hearing something somewhere, and, and the figures don't tally up. But we here to honor God and serve God, and that's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be with Alan Presley Promotions. We believe in trying to live by the, what the Bible says. We don't believe and and just acting like they do at a football game somewhere. We believe in living by faith, grace through faith. And that's what we stand for, and that's what we believe in. We believe in thus saying the Word of God from Genesis to Revelations, and we believe in sharing God's Word, and that's what we stand up on. We're going to be playing some songs tonight honoring our fathers, and I will share with some more words about the father's business and what the fathers should be doing later on in the program. We're going to open the program up. Again, with one more song by the Chuck Wagon Gang. If you're not a Christian and you're not saved, Jesus said in Matthew 11, 28, to come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The call is out tonight, calling for sinners to get saved and Christians get revived. And church, you, you may say, and the people out there may say, why do I need revival? You need that revival, church. Every Christian needs to. Jesus wasn't talking to a lost bunch of people that didn't know him when he quoted, he told us uh, Chronicles 7, 14, when he said, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. He was talking to you Christians out there. You that say that you are Christians. He said, If you would repent, turn from your wicked ways and start serving him. Now, he wasn't talking to them sinners. He was talking to you Christians. He said, if you turn from your wicked ways, turn from your ways. I'm going to tell you something, folks, and this may burn the seat off of somebody, but that's all right. I cannot believe that we had churches that called off church on Father's Day when we supposed to be recognized to fathers. Can you? I can because I know of some that did call their church off. Hey, souls are dying every minute. Souls are dying while Alan Presley's talking right here. And we call churches off the pleasure of our own self. That's wrong. 100% wrong. Not 99%, but 100%. You say you're truthful. I'm going to be truthful. I don't want to be truthful if I don't get but two or three listeners. I will tell you the truth. Here they go, the Chuck Wayne gang. Come to Jesus if you're not right with God. 
Hear the blessed Savior calling me your prayers. Oh, ye heavy laden, come to me and rest. Come no longer tarry, I alone will bear. Bring me every burden, bring me every care. Come unto me, unto me. come unto me. the fathers out there they was father's day and, and if you're a father out there tonight we'd like to recognize you and we're going to be playing some songs here uh recognizing the fathers second generation brenda dentney was the owner of this group and she had a great group uh a second generation randy barnes elaine robinson and brenda herself and man they traveled the road and they sung and told the world about jesus Brenda has gone to being a soloist now, and, and she's singing as a soloist. And they, when Second Generation sung, they sung, Daddy was an old-time preacher man. Brother, if there was a time that we need the old-time preacher man, it is now, in our age and time. Now, this is talking about a daddy. And, we, and, and fathers out there are daddies, but we need to be a daddy. We need to be a daddy. You know, God created man in his own image. Then he took a, he, he know that man might need a helpmate. So he took a, a rib from uh, Adam and created a woman. A woman is to be a helpmate to a man. The man is to be a leader. And a man should be a leader. Even in the house of God, God created man to preach the gospel and to be the leader of that congregation. 
He needs the leader. He created to be the leader. Now we to work together, be together. The woman is to be a helpmate and help the man. The woman is to help the pastor, you know, and be a help to the pastor. But the man should be the leader. All the way in the Bible, in the Word of God. I didn't say it. I didn't write it. When he called, talked about a servant, talked about a bishop, or talked about a leader, he called him a he. He didn't put a H-E-R there. A man ought to be a leader in the home. He ought to be leading his children and training up his children in the way he should go. And when he is old, he won't depart from him. A man needs to lead the home. He needs to teach his kids about the way of God. And he needs to be a leader, even like in the church. The man needs to lead the church. I know without in a lot of places that uh, if it wasn't for the women, the church wouldn't be going and the church wouldn't act up. But whose fault that? That's the man's fault because he won't be a leader. And he needs to be that leader. Now, like I said a while ago, when I read the Bible, it talked about a he. It didn't put no E-G-R there. Pastors, if you are a pastor, you need to stand up. You need to preach what does say the word of God, regardless of who it hurts or who it feeds. And that's why the old-time preacher man was. You say, oh, Alan, we live in a different day. Yeah, we we, we live in a different way and a different time when the world wants to live like hell and call themselves Christians on Sunday morning and go back to the same old thing on Monday morning and the rest of a week. But we're to be an example to everybody. Man needs to take leadership. Men, if you don't, you will stand in the day of judgment and you'll answer to God. So every man needs to stand up and lead his family in the ways of God. Not be a dictator and not treat him like a pile of mud, but you to do it through love and leading and directing the way. Come on, second generation, sing about the old time preacher man. Here we go.
And folks, Daddy was an old time preacher man. Brother Bob Holbrook, good friend of ours up in Merville, Tennessee, he's taking treatment for cancer right now. One of the greatest piano players in the country. He's a great piano player, great singer too. He's going to be singing about a prodigal son. Every dad out there, you know, you may have some children. You don't. You can't force your children to live right or do right. You may have some that lead, takes off and leaves and runs away home. But if he's a true dad, he'll still be praying for his son one day that he will come home. Now Bob's going to sing. Brother Bob's going to sing about a son that one day thought he had everything that he needed, that he didn't need dad or didn't need mom or didn't need family no more. He took off and run away from home. And when he got away home, he had to feed the hogs and to eat the things that the swine had to eat. And he had, he got down into the hog pen. In other words, the hog pen of sin. And just about probably done everything that in the world wrong. But one day he said, I'll rise and I'm going back to my father. Well, his father kept looking and longing down that road waiting for his son to come home. One day he seen a little dot moving look like down the road. He didn't know what he was. And he looked and he looked and he looked. And that dot kept getting bigger and he seen it as somebody walking. And he got close to him. He thought it was his son. And he ran out and he grabbed his son and began to hug him and kiss him and said, this is my son. He was lost, but now he is found. That's a true daddy. That's a true daddy. Do we pray for our children? Oh, we welcome them back home when they went astray and gone off. Folks, the family who prayed will never be departed. Here we go with Brother Bob Holbrook.
when my dad was living he passed away back in 1976 of a massacred heart attack at the age of 55. I looked up to my dad he was a great leader he was a great Christian I can still see his hands where he'd been in a lot of churches and what he'd done in those churches to help those churches and I used to think of my dad he can most do anything, and my dad would have done most anything to help us. And I love my dad, and I love my father. And folks, I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer right now, and I want you to bow your heads with me. If you're not the father that you ought to be, you ought to be get that heart right with God tonight. If you're a Christian and you went away from God, you need to come back to God and dedicate your life fully back to him. And if you're not a Christian, you definitely need to get saved and get right with God. Our Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this day, Lord, that we honor fathers. God, I pray for every father out there. I pray for every one of them. I pray that we may be the leader that we ought to be, loving you, God, and serving you, and teaching our family how to go to heaven and how to get to heaven. God, you said train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he won't depart from it. And God, they always will remember that teachings that Father had given them and leads them. And Father, I pray 
that you'll help us to be the families that we ought to be. Lord, this will be what will help save America and bring America back to you is for fathers would lead their children and lead their family in the way they should go. Lord, we love the old song, the family who prayed shall never be departed. And Father, how true that is. Fathers that will pray and lead their children in the right way. And God, I pray if there be one out there that hears this, even after we off the air, they hear it. I pray that tonight may be the night that they get saved and surrender their heart and life to you. I pray for every listener out there that may be listening, that you will help us, God, that we may live for you more than we ever have before, and that we may be the witness for you like we ought to be, living the life of Jesus. God, I pray that you will help us all, that we may try to walk in your footsteps and be like you. See, Lord, that's what Christian means, Christ-like. And, Lord, we're to strive to be like Christ. We, don't, we shouldn't want to be like some other individual, but we ought to try every day to strive to be like our Lord. God, I pray for every home, every family out there. I pray, God, that you may be the center of their home. You may be the center of their life. And God, I pray for those that are sick tonight. We pray for those that are sin sick, that need you as Lord and Savior, that they will give their life to you this very day. See, Joshua said, Choose you this day whom you may serve. And God, you're telling everybody, Today is the day of salvation. The harden not your heart, but give their heart and life to you now. Now, God, I pray, that we all may be the man that you are looking for to stand in the gap in this sin-cursed world, to stand up and live and teach your word. In Christ's name we pray, amen. We're going to get on with some great gospel music tonight. And here's another song, A Father's Prayer. That ought to be a prayer that we lead and direct our children. Here we go. She believes that I can do anything she asked me to. Faith in me is never compromised And she's sure that I could answer Any question she could ask She never stops to wonder if I'm right And she knows that if she cries I'll be there to dry her eyes Hold her in my arms till it's all right and if I could be just half the man That little girl thinks I am I know everything would be alright Help me, Holy Spirit Be the Father I should be Give me strength to lead my family Into bed after her 
good night prayers are said She looks at me with eyes that see no wrong Her little arms go round me tight She hugs my neck with all her might Drifts off to sweet dreams before long For a while I watch her sleep Then I softly kiss her cheek She won't be a little girl for long Lord, help me be just half the man That little girl thinks I am Help me, Lord, for her sake To be strong Some of the fondest memories of my childhood were woven around supper time. When mom would come to the back steps of the old home place and she'd say, George, come on in to supper time. Oh, oh my, but how I'd love to hear that one more time. <laughs> but you know, for me, time has woven the realization of a truth. And that's when the Lord comes to the portal of glory and says to come on in for it's supper time. And we'll be gathered around the table with the Lord himself at the greatest supper time of them all. Visions now, I see her standing yonder. And her familiar voice I hear once more the 
banquet tables ready up in heaven. Oh, it's supper time up on the golden shore. I've got a lot more days behind me than I have ahead of me. And I know that. But I also know this. Should the master return tonight, I'm packed and ready to go. Bill got my house all in order. Yeah, I'm going home. Someday. And you're listening to Alan Presley Promotions here tonight on the WOTG Radio Network in Sweetwater. And folks, we're playing songs tonight recognizing their fathers. Today is Father's Day, and we're playing these top songs. I think about my dad. I would love to hear my voice of my dad again and hear his voice. I can remember the last words that my dad said to me back in 1975. And I got to see my dad. 1976. Well, he died in 76. It was 75 Christmas, Linda. You come down to it. I, 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 I'm talking about the, the little words that I heard him say that time. But anyway, I, I, that was the last Christmas I saw him at on Christmas. That was 1975, the last Christmas. That was the last Christmas that I was with my dad. And I was pastoring a church in Adrian, Michigan. And my dad came all the way up there to visit me. My dad and my mother did on Christmas of 1975. I can remember the words that he told me on the last Christmas I saw him. I got to see him one other time in the month of March of 1976 when I was called a holy revival in Crossfield, Tennessee. I flew down to Knoxville, Tennessee, landed at the, airport, up our, at the airport. My dad picked me up and took me to Crossville, Tennessee to, to preach that revival. And he came over and visited me a few nights in that revival. But the words that I heard him say on Christmas, that last Christmas that I got to see him, as a last Christmas, he'd reached up when he started to leave to come back to Tennessee. And he reached up patted me on the head like that. He said, Son, if I don't see you no more, I'll see you in heaven. That was the last words at the last Christmas I saw my dad on that Christmas, last Christmas. I never will forget those words. He said, Son, if I don't see you no more, I'll see you in heaven. 
But I got to see him one more time, and that was at Revival in the month of March of 76. And I always remember my dad. He was a person that loved God. He had the talent to do carpenter work. My whole family did that. They was commercial builders. My dad done a lot of a plumbing, a lot of the war in the buildings, a lot of the carpenter work, and a lot of churches. He did not take a dime for that. He done it free. I can still go into several churches and see where my dad's hands were. And I praise God and I thank God for a dad and mom that prayed for me and taught me the ways of God. I never change. I never give up. I won't never turn back. But I keep looking toward that pearly white city when I hear my Lord say, Welcome home, son. And what a great time that's going to be. My grandpa was just like that, too. My grandpa, though, well, we had a big lumber company, just about a half, about two tenths of a mile from where I live at right now. He he furnished a lot of lumber, and one church he furnished every stick of lumber and material to build that church. My whole family was about like that. But I praise God one day I'll see him. And I thank God that for my grandpa that led the way too. And I love my grandpa. Here's Jim Hamill is going to sing Grandpa's Way. And listen to Grandpa's Way. A minister had just closed a revival in a huge Midwestern city. He stepped on the train on his way home and found himself seated beside a young man. 
for nothing better to do. He turned to the young fellow and tried to start up a conversation with him about the weather or just things in general. He noticed he didn't receive an answer and he turned to the young man and saw the tears streaming down his cheeks. He told him then, son, I'm a preacher. I'm a minister. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. The young man, through his tears, proceeded to tell this story. He said, preacher, two years ago I got some mean at home that my mom and dad couldn't do anything with me. Well, one day I even went so far as to strike my father with my fist. He told me then, son, we're going to have to ask you to leave home. We can't do anything with you while you're breaking your mama's heart. Preacher, I wandered all over this country for the past two years. And then about three weeks ago, I gave my heart and life to Jesus. And I wrote my mom and dad a letter. I told them I'd be on this train. I told him I was coming home. The preacher told him, son, that's all well and good, but how do you know you're going to be welcome? How do you know everything's going to be all right at home? The young man said, preacher, we've lived beside these old railroad tracks all of my life in a little old white house. And out behind the house is a great big old apple tree. I told my mom and dad in the letter, if I was welcome home, if everything was all right, just have Dad go out back and hang a white rag right in the top of that old apple tree. And I could see it from the train. And I'd know then that everything was all right. Preacher, we're almost home. We're almost home. Would you look out the window and tell me what you see? I want to go home so bad. And I'm afraid that white rag won't be in the top of that apple tree. The preacher dusted the window of the train and looked out. Then he had a great big grin on his face. <laughs> he said, son, son, why you don't have a thing in the world to worry about? That old apple tree's in full blossom. <laughs> why there's white rags hanging all over it from one end to the other. That's all I can see is white rags. And out under the apple tree, I see that gray-haired old mom and dad of yours standing there waving a big white bed sheet saying, come on home, son. Come on home. And you know, that's just like God. No matter how mean we've been, no matter how wicked we've been, no matter what we've done in and with our lives, all we have to do is say, Jesus, help me. Jesus, take away my sin. And he'll welcome each and every one of us home.
man, that was a great song, Karen Peck and New River. And we got, <coughs> hey, tomorrow night's guest on Alan Presley Promotions is Kevin Spencer. Kevin Spencer will be calling in tomorrow night on Alan Presley Promotions. We got Kevin Spencer coming up to sing next, and he's going to sing Daddy's Will. Remember, we're playing songs about Father's Day and honoring our fathers today. And today is Father's Day. And here's Kevin Spencer. Like I said, he'll be a call-in guest on Alan Presley Promotions tomorrow night. Here's Kevin Spencer singing Daddy's Will.
fight with the best of everything. So I took my possessions in my hand. He traveled far and wide, and he tasted worldly pleasure. But deep inside, I was lonely without measure. From my father's arms, I was. This life I'm living If I leave 
and dad and eight kids in a station wagon. US 23 South was the route that led us to old Kentucky, place my daddy loved. And the mountains that seem to touch the stars in heavens above. My daddy's mountains are tall and wide and stand with heritage and pride. They held the hopes of friends and family he loved. Tucked away Glad to be here tonight on Alan Presley Promotions, and we're playing songs honoring our daddies and fathers out there. And we hope the program has been a blessing to you as you hear songs about fathers. And today is Father's Day, and that's the reason we dedicate this program tonight to all the fathers out there. And we hope they're getting a blessing out of these songs. That was Tammy Jones Robinette, a great young lady. Well, she's probably not so young now, but anyway, she still does a lot of singing, and she's got some sisters that, man, is out of this world, too. they known as the Parsons, and, man, they can sing, too. We got music of both of them in here. But we're glad to be here tonight on Alan Presley Promotions, and we're playing songs to honor the fathers and honor the daddies. We did that on Mother's Day, too, and then today was Father's Day. Here's the Bobby Jones family coming up. And they're going to be singing Daddy's Prayer. Final chapter of his life closed that October day. Years of hard work, sweat, and tears now return to clay. Though he's gone, the 
seeds he sown when he knelt before the Lord have yielded fruits of labor. He's received a great reward. Mama told the story of the day when Dad prayed. His body broken from the mines was the price that Daddy paid. Like Hezekiah, pleading 15 years of time, his coal house prayer restored to him his health that had declined. Daddy prayed down on his knees in a peculiar place. He'd go outside alone and fall upon his face. The old coal house holds the memories of his talks and deep requests. With all his faults and failures to his maker, he confessed. A smile upon his face. Then he prayed down on his knees in a peculiar place. He'd go outside alone and fall upon his face. The old coal house holds the memories of his talks and deep requests. With all his faults and failures to his maker, he confessed. of his talks and deep requests with all his faults and failures to his maker he Just a friend, a book that I read to learn how to become a better man. Since I was a child, you taught me to believe that there's no limitations to what I could be.
But I have a father. I have a father who can. And now he's a tie. And he lets me go. And he guides my feet wherever I go. When I don't understand, I have a father. I have a father.
with Melvin, Ben, and Biggie. And thank we were Rupert, he said, yo, but we still miss him and I love him. a lad, hard to bang, but there's a silver lining behind every cloud. Just poor people, that's all we were, trying to make a living out of black land earth. We get together in a family circle, singing loud. Daddy sang day. Mama sang tenor. Yeah, little brother would join right in there, singing saints help the trouble so. Sky, Lord, in the sky. Now I remember after work, Mama would call in all of us. Well, you could hear us singing for a country mile. Now, little brother, he's done gone on, but I 
I'm gonna join him round the throat. We get together in the family circle, singing loud. They sing bass. Mama sang tenor. Me and her brother joined right in there. Singing seems to help the trouble so. Circle won't be broken by and by, Lord, by and by. And sing, baby. Mama sang tenor. Me and her brother will join right in there. In the sky, Lord, in the sky. President Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network. We on television. We're going to be on YouTube. And we on Facebook tonight. And we're having a great time. This program is dedicated to all the fathers out there. And we've been playing mostly songs to the fathers and to the daddies out there. And we got, I think we got two more songs left here for daddies. Then we'll have to close out the program with some other songs. We got three. What, Linda? Three. Linda says we got, Lady Princess said we got three songs left. So, okay, uh, this is for the fathers, and we dedicate this program tonight to, to all the fathers. What, Lady? You want to go ahead and tell her address while you got it on? Yeah, Lady Presley wants me to go ahead and give my address and all that stuff. You know, we do this at every program. And, folks, you are listening to Alan Presley Promotions. And we hear seven nights a week on the radio for worldwide radio stations. And we're on Facebook. We're on the YouTube. 
and we own Boxcast TV. And if you don't, if you you can pick us up on TV too. And we just glad of all the opportunities that God has given us. If you like to be a part of a program, and we are helping the children out. We help. It's not we not helping them out a whole lot, but we're helping them out some. And we got a representative that will be here Wednesday night from the children's home to talk over about the fine and tell you about the children's home. Then tomorrow night, we have Kevin Spencer, one of the best male voices in gospel music today. Kevin Spencer, tomorrow night. Friday, Tuesday night, Lorraine Hired will be our guest on the program. And man, we, we are thrilled with what God is doing out in the new future. If you like being a program like this, send your donation. They can be small or great. Every little bit helps us to keep pressing onward. And we got a lot of equipment in here. If you don't believe that, ask Murray Scott, ask Susan Brady, ask the Hannah Brady, and ask Cole Watson. They'll tell you. It, it, it's, we got a lot of equipment in here. And they and folks, it's proved people like you that make this possible. Here's our mailing address. If you like being a part of a program, won't get us keep this going. It's Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Some of you folks come by and pay us a visit sometimes. We welcome you too. Here's the mailing address again, Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Okay, let's get back and play some more songs about Daddy. I think this is a singing birds. Daddy's, Daddy's what? Loud. Daddy's loud. Here we go. Take a listen. Begging bread. He wipes away my tears and he comes. 
sweet memory of an old front porch swing and daddy singing to me. I can still feel the touch of his loving hands in my eyes. He was the one person. fathers and daddies tonight and my prayer is is that the circle will won't be broken get your family prayer prepared to go to heaven and we hope and pray that the circle will never be broken take a listen <laughs> Take 
here on the program and me and Lady Presley does this every night at this about this time we want to come out on here and tell you good night have a great night and we hope to see you again tomorrow night and we been getting off and on here uh, look like on Linda's computer but anyway we we had we've had a great time play, honoring our fathers and playing songs about the fathers and more night, Kevin Spencer will be with us. We're going to say, God bless you. We love you. And we will finish the program out with some songs. Now I'm going to turn it over to Lady Presley. Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow night. we got two more songs. We're going to try to get in. Yeah, if the creek don't rise, we'll see you tomorrow night. We love every one of you. And here we go with the, who is, the Cathedral Quartet. Take a listen.
Hey.